I'm Jessica Gaudet with your Tuesday evening KRQE.com webcast. John Smith starts with the weather. Yeah, we've seen some really nice weather the past couple of days, but it has been very dry, and that's going to continue as we head through the next couple of days. And this dry weather is going to keep the fire weather danger up, especially in the south and the eastern portions of the state. But things start to change as we head toward the middle and latter part of the week. The storm track starts to sag to the south a little bit, but it's not quite far enough south to give us the precipitation we need to kind of extinguish some of that fire weather threat. But the storm track will be far enough south to bring us breezy conditions and just heighten that fire weather danger. For the weekend. A nurse at the big state juvenile lockup in Albuquerque was busted with some things that put him in jail. Martin Garcia has been working at the Youth Diagnostic and Development Center for more than two years, but it wasn't until recently that his bosses thought he might be stealing drugs meant for patients. A police officer stopped him last night for a traffic violation. When he searched his car, he found two fanny packs inside. Inside one was powder believed to be meth. The other was full of pills. Garcia told the officer he was allowed to have the pills, but a call to YDC, a supervisor there, debunked that. The supervisor said Garcia was already being investigated for pills that have gone missing from the center. He believes Garcia was stealing a certain antidepressants that contain a key stimulant used in making meth. The new secretary of the Children, Youth, and Families Department said they're looking at swift disciplinary action, which could include Garcia being fired. Another Roswell third grader has been caught with pot at school. It's the second incident so far this year. The eight-year-old Feckles Elementary student told his principal yesterday that he got the marijuana from a friend who's also eight. The friend told police she found the pot rolled in a piece of newspaper at her home. Both denied ever using the drug. But two third graders at nearby Barendo Elementary couldn't. They were caught smoking pot in a school bathroom back in January. CYFD is monitoring both cases. Join us for the latest local news, weather and sports tonight at 10.